Welcome to Kearney, Nebraska. So day three of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We got the Buick back here putting the good fans on that got overnighted. Shout out to the motion guys, Doug, Andy, just huge help on getting some parts coming overnighted for us while we're in the middle of fixing the other one yesterday and everything. So new fans are here, better ones kind of replace what was on it. Just we had the other ones to get by, but the car did end up running about another 10 to 15 degrees warmer throughout the rest of that drive. Clyde just was doing his thing, like always. Buick is all pulled apart, getting the new fans put on it. And then we will prep everything. We think we're gonna put actually C16 in it before he heads to the track. So it kind of clears out before he gets there. It's only a few mile drive. Uh, that was kind of the issue we had with that first pass in Denver is it's just still probably had some pump gas in the lines or whatever and runs kind of weird. So prep everything, get it ready to pretty much race, head to the track and we'll get there. Uh, we do have a few hours to kind of spare here this morning so it works out. With race week compared to drag week, it's a seven day event. So you have those two drive days. And now this year, Matt decided to do them all in the evening. So we have a few hours here in the morning before we head there. So kind of hang out in the parking lot, chat with everybody. We got uh, some other people around here that everybody's just kind of thrashing to get ready for race day. Tom's car is so sick. Uh, Tom McGilton, this is brand new. He got it as a brand new ZL1. Pulled it completely apart, put full cage in it. Nav works, everything still works as it should big twin turbo big block in it and this thing is just super rowdy uh seeing something like that i think he went 701 on the first day so just unbelievable car did you see got more people over here working look clear down here oh, it looks like some of those people left we got a couple mustang a truck that was following us with us yesterday motion auto tv guys everybody's over there got more cars over here parked with trailers so some people working on stuff some people just ready to go to the track and then take a look at this nice uh lake carney here the old grand marquee motion grand marquee they pulled in and now we got water coming out of the ground here so that can't be good probably should stay away from that so we don't end up with a sinkhole or something here i don't know so uh yep finish this up get ready head to the track and make some passes so the buick is back on the ground prepped and ready to go to the track so we're gonna uh, go grab some lunch and head over there how's that week going in the old oh it's comfortable motion marquee it's comfortable I'm just easy to peasy my face all... everybody's trying to keep the sun off of Look something guys. you guys get that super Every fix or what you get it yeah. little little tank crush action oh, yeah. huh yeah just it freaking suck that thing closed so it's crazy because it's supposed to it's a pressure only cap so it's only supposed to hold pressure but it's supposed to let air in yeah but it just freaking just like my tank collapsed what tank the fuel water, tank because it's plastic yes yeah. so i crap. pulled it off today and it was like smushed at like a 30 degree angle i really? thought it, i was like looking underneath it like it like it don't have a vent or anything well it's it's supposed to but it has like an evap thing that goes up front and then like i deleted that stuff and then yeah. must have deleted the vent at some have, point well, it has a vent <laughs> and it goes up to the top of the thing but it's only a, it's a pressure cap so i think it's yeah. pressure yeah. Yeah. Well, we got it, it like bent the whole thing like completely sideways that's crazy and the fuel line or the the power cable going to it was like smashed up against the thing like yikes that's yeah I'm really surprised yeah and then rupture or something crazy too yeah well at least you got it figured out so, yeah. nice each works they overnighted me two pumps perfect so even though we didn't know what it was yeah, yeah. they were like well oh, that's what go. sucks you don't want to pull it apart and like not have what you need yeah, so you got to have something to go yeah, in they, they here hell yeah things, so. oh we even got fuel gauge to work too mechanical. even better so. <laughs> now you know Woo! carney raceway park so we made it 450 miles later, pulling into the track for another track day. Ready? I'm ready. All right. So we've got the motion marquee right behind us and the uh, Buick's right behind them. Get into the track here, find us a spot. Get ready, get set up, and make some passes. Made it to the track. Mazda's here, the Buick's here. Motion marquee's here and a whole bunch of nitrous. So getting ready to try to spray this thing. The race marquee, guys. <laughs> So we're gonna get this wet kit installed on this thing, run a line, pop it in. I thought Andrew was just gonna run on the outside of the car for a second, you know. No, just check it <laughs> Make sure it fits. So get this thing fired up, get the uh, tires swapped over. My dad's gonna get the Buick ready. He already put the fuel and stuff in it last time. So uh, he should be real close to ready to go and uh, get ready to send this thing. All right, Clyde's in the lane. He's got to lift way early to go at 13. So let's give it a try. All right, remember to lift. Oh, and break. It's going to be even harder
Five. Here we go. Buick's first pass here in Kearney. Took two pounds out of it up top, he did, and then we're going to see what it does here. Uh, hopefully that 850 is what we need. Heat of the day, the track hasn't been great today, but it does have a soft 60 foot in it, so hopefully it'll go right down through there. It's probably one of the coolest cars on racing. It's so nice. Poly EFI, just a beautiful car. Just super nice. And then we got old James and Ruby here. 850 life. He went 858, so see how he does here. Here we go, a little side-by-side -side action. It'll be pretty cool. All right, so James just went 851, kicked a belt off of it. We uh, we forgot to turn the big pump on, so we'll put the big pump on real quick, and now it's ready to go. All right, here we go. See how it does. bonehead move my dad was like double check make sure the big pump's on so it's good and then i went back there and flipped the little pump on and screwed him up so now everything's good he'll make sure that it's got the big pump on it's kind of weird how we have it set on the switch it's the second time it's bit us but uh, otherwise ready for the second pass in clyde last one 1295 try to just lift a little early and uh hit the brakes a little harder hopefully go 13. april had a little bum run on the first one so she'll be coming up soon to make her second pass of the day get some hopefully some good slips and head on out. Make a rip in the Supra. Burn, burn. Things sound so good. to start so far this week so try to get in the 11s got a good air great bend's a little better but i think it can do it here we'll find out
Seven. That's a perfect slip for a class, but not quite that 11 second half. That's the nice thing about shooting for that 11 when you're in a 12 0 class, is if you get the 11, you're happy, but a 12 0 is perfect for the class. That's an awesome slip that'll really help her out with her standings in her class. Woo! It's a good pass. Really? Huh. Oh, it went 12 0. It went 12 0. <laughs> so trying to beat the weather before it rolls in here. Got the Buick back up here. Try to get a good slip here. There we go. Hopefully we can knock out an 850 or 860, something close. choice like do you just keep beating on everything trying to go the 13-0 which I would but the Buick's going to try to make another pass because he's going to be could be possibly sitting two or three in his class after tonight so uh, he's going to get ready to do that watch that pass and we'll just turn that in 13-5 Avery got a really good slip for today and then just uh, hopefully try to go 11-9 maybe she'll try to go 11-9 yet tonight we'll see uh, but for sure hopefully in Great Bend tomorrow so 13-5 not so great 13-0 you know, 13-3 average, not great. Uh, but you have people going like 13 00s at every track and 12 00s and everything. So just uh, just learning it and having fun. Clyde's not the most consistent with the six-speed. It kind of shifts when it wants, does its thing. But we will uh, see what happens here in a little bit. So it sounds like we're good right there. Um, now it's going to take the 880, 172 mile an hour with only a 156 foot. So the car has so much potential. We need to work on the short track, figure out shock settings. Is it when you hit it a little too much or the track's kind of weird, and not super super sticky it wants to like rattle the tire maybe we need to try some different tire pressures and stuff in it but the mazda not bad and then uh actually april killed it with the 12-0 so hopefully tomorrow she can get that 11 second slip and then see what we can do with the buick tomorrow maybe we'll finally have all the 
little kinks worked out on it and kind of figure out what it needs, what it wants. Send it down through there and hopefully get a nice high uh, or mid 850 pass, 860. Keep that consistent throughout the week. That's part of it. Like, even though you got people going faster in the class, it's also like 90% of it's about making it to the finish line and not having something break or an issue or whatever. So playing the long game, you stay consistent and uh, we'll see how it all shakes out. Put some bigger jets in it, huh? Fun schemes, dude. Oh Fun boy, schemes. oh it's boy. It's going to be four teams this time. Let's see what happens. At least you got that uh, tire shine on it though. It's looking good today. <laughs> Alright everyone, so we just finished watching the Motion Marquis spin the tire and we're going to call that a night. Headed to get some food at, uh, yep, almost 11 o'clock again. So, welcome to race week. We're leaving the track right now and we will see everybody tomorrow. If you want to see more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time.